see. So, Dead Man wants us to come here. And I'm assuming there's a fight on the way. Uh, I miss my... Um, what's the word again? Zip lines that are all the way west. I think I'm just gonna have to walk. Well, I doubt it's connected to anything, is it? Oh, that one? Fuck me. I just walked that whole bit. Well, that sucks. That could have saved me time. Um, dead man, where you at? There. I might be able to place a zipline on his end if I need to make a quick escape or something. Where is the storm? Well, it doesn't seem to be right above Deathman's at least, so maybe I'm safe for now until I get to the other city. Oh, that was bad on my shoes, though. I was hoping it would charge me, but no. Well, it wasn't too hard to get here. Are these crystals or what? Little critters. Okay. He's going in with me? Oh shit. I didn't think this would be it. I thought the storm was miles away. Shit. Well, shit. Maybe it wasn't even coming for me. Maybe it was just coming for Bibi. The cutscene. Now this is that one trailer. Oh, yes! So cool! It's so weird! Mm. Forever at war. Oh shit, dude. This cutscene feels so old now, weirdly enough. Because the trailer is so old. No 
No one there yet. Oh, what a cool shot. Oh, goosebumps. I really hope that rumor is true that Kojima's next game is going to be a horror game. I would be fucking ecstatic. Jesus. Here they come. You better get out of the way. So fucking cool. Oh, look at those details. Sorry, my face is in front of it. That's where I keep my blood bags. Is he using his blood to power them? No, <laughs> hi. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Clifford, the dog. That's such a cool trailer. It's fucking awesome. Oh no, I'm not equipped for this. I was equipped for BTs, I'm not equipped for war. But I'm sure last time they gave me a lot of stuff as well, so I'm sure this time it's the same. They give you the weapons you need. He's gunning for PV. He must be our ticket home, right? Don't ask me. This is only my second time. And without BB, he'll be hard to find. Lucky for you, I've got BB here in tip-top shape, just waiting for you. Where should we meet? Is there anything unusual or distinct near you? I'm in the sewers. Hang on. I can see a tower through a hole. A square tower, right above my position. Gotcha. I'll find it. Search for a sewer entrance. Okay, fuck. Sit tight for now. Gladly. I won't move an inch. Yeah, well, if I'm slow, you might have to. What? That warrior asshole. He wasn't after me. He was after BB. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> right. If he's looking for anyone, it's you. Oh, no. Hurry the hell up, Sam. Keep it together. I'm on my way. And don't hook up BB either. They'll lead them straight to you. Oh boy. Already did Not that. that you would, since you hate them. I just did because I was scared to death. Disconnect. Now. Uh, already done. Don't let him take BB. How? If he shows up with his soldiers, what do you expect me to do? Fight back? If I have to choose between BB and myself, well... Uh... Mm, you won't. I'm ending the call. Sam. It's not easy being me. <laughs> no wife, no children, no I'm friends. I'm so alone. And so I sought solace, sought company in the dead. Over time, I made them a part of me, 70% of who I am today. But meeting you has opened my eyes. You're very special, Sam. Okay, dude. Tower, tower. Oh, it's on my map. Handgun. Bola gun. Mm. 
Um... Okay, I think I just have to follow my packages. Okay, that was most of them, I think. Four blood bags, though. That's nice. Um... Eat that. Go, go, go! Oh, shit! Stick to the buildings. Okay, so far so good. so fucking cool by the way. I know I'm like super quiet and focused but I'm taking it all in. Am I getting close? I'm I'm there. Now I just need to find an entrance to the sewers. This must be it. Can I swim? Oh, okay. Where is it? Not here, I guess. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh, maybe it's there. Whoa, what happened? A lot of things happened just now. Is he not here? It's not Star Wars. I can't squeeze through a little hole. Oh, it is open here. I thought it was closed. I'll see you soon. Showing camera in tight spaces, compass mode. Hmm. That's a red light. I don't trust it. Good so far. Might as well pick up the blood bags, right? Let me get the grenades and then I'm ready. Sort of. The fuck are those sounds? I found him. Find him. Over here. Zap. Lou. Let's just hope that I I'll defeat him again, and then. Again. Uh, let me see. And then we get kicked out. Both of us. Oh. Oh well then. No, he's happy. How oh, Devon doesn't die. Maybe this is a special beach. 
For soldiers who died in battle. Maybe we should get the hell out of here. Yes. I'm surprised. I thought you would have abandoned BB by now. <laughs> Discard precious hardware? Never. Mm -hmm. So, do you still share memories? I see. Not at the moment, but I'm sure it'll come back. Stay here. Seems like I got other memories to tend to. I'm taking him down as you get us both out of here. Yeah. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm starting to understand why BB is so important to you. Huh? It's just a tool. Life and death are supposed to be irrelevant. But we've got attached to each other. All the same, haven't we? <laughs> He's so weird. Kid's not just a tool. Name's Lou. Lou, huh? That's a good name. Don't get your head stuck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You stay hidden there. Okay. I think I have enough blood bags on me for now. I think I have like five or six. Two on my back, one used. Um, discard that. I have five, yeah. I could take a sixth one, but I don't think I need that many. I could, however, before I move on, move the other blood bags to... Um, let's see. Move these to my pouch. Okay, I think I can carry one in there. There you go. Good. I'm sure I'm gonna fight soon. What? The bell? Oh, so cool. It's giving me serious European vibes. <laughs> I hear those kind of bells all the time. What's he doing? So, is Matt basically always in the beaches and he's just waiting for BB to be used in the beach? Basically. Because he wants his BB back for some reason. I mean, don't give me too many answers. I'm just asking myself these questions. It's so fucking ridiculously cool. I love it. Time to fight, dude. I have zero guns. I only have hematic grenades. Assault rifle. Where's my baby? Hold on, dude. I need to reorganize. Uh, no, wait. I can do this. No. This. No. Fuck, how do I... Oh, God. I forgot how to... Let's pick up the pace. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I wait. Uh, I got it, I got it. Where's my assault rifle? This one? Open fire. Taking too much fire. Oh! Okay, there you go. 
Where is he? Seven, the other one's back. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Blood transfusion, please. Blood transfusion, please. Jesus, I can't even talk. Here it comes. It's recovering me. Out of bullets. Oh! <gasps> uh, equip that. Where are they? Hey, where'd they go? Wait, where? Oh, there he is. Try and get to him around. Okay, good. Oh, there he goes. That's awesome. We need, we need reinforcement. Okay, I need to. Whew, that was intense. Okay. Uh. Just offload that, and then... Is that all the blood I have? I have three now? I went through that a lot faster than I thought. I'll probably find some more along the way. Let's get the shotgun. Such a shotgun. Blood bag. There you go. Do does blood ammo work on these guys? I don't even know. Maybe I should try. I'm putting them in my utility pouch so they take up less weight. Not that they're heavy, but... Okay. Can't put it in there right now. Ooh, normal grenades. Um... Hematic, 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 normal. And, God, I'm so slow with this. There. Okay. I'm ready. Let's get that work, work. Wait, didn't I have them equipped? That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Oh shit, oh god, I'm so fucking dead. No, not the sandals, no! Oh god, what did I do? Did I punch one? I did something. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh, I was super aggressive there and I totally fucked up in the beginning. Okay. We need reinforcements. Let me get that blood bag. I'm rushing through blood bags. Can you imagine how weak you are getting that many transfusions? <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see, there must be empty ones in there. Yeah. Okay, still on four. That's good. Now, how do I... I have the shotgun on me, right? That worked out well. Okay. Let's go. I'm ready. Oh, the dudes are already there. Uh Yeah, they're shooting me from so far away. Did I get him? Um... Got so many dudes. Had to run for a bit. Whew. Blood transfusion, please. That's true. I'm just gonna hide around here because there's blood here. Okay. Now, where is he? Damn it. How can I not hit him? I had him in my sights. Where is he? Oh! Ah, it's empty! Ah, it's empty! Go for it, go for it! Punch him in the face! Kick him! <laughs> Take that! Ah, my stuff! No! Well, I tried. <laughs> Equip that. Um. Oh, Jesus. This is hard for me. I'm struggling with so many different like menus and equipments and Jesus. Um oh god, he's right there. Okay, 
I want this. Okay. Oh, God damn. No. Offload. Offload. Don't need anything empty. God, I only have one more. Okay. Okay. Are there any blood bag, armor plate? Nothing else. Blood bag. Gotta go get that. I'm gonna get such a poor rank for this. Oh, it's far away though. Get my baby. Oh, it's so far away. Oh, fuck. Might as well. Get my, my. Get my baby. Get my baby. Isn't there- there should be an easier way to switch between all my weapons and like my grenades and stuff. Because I keep having to go here and do it, but... Oh, is this the blood bag I was actually going to? Whoops. Okay. They're back here. There he goes. Bring it to me. Hell yeah. That was good. The last one was good. <laughs> I was just like, I got him in my sights. <laughs> Prison? The container? Why did you even get that close, dude? Ah, that's why. He wanted a name. Is he gonna remember? I deserve that. 
I'm sorry. I panicked. Too many menu items. Can't be saucem all the time. Oh, I woke up here. The BB is back. Whoa. <laughs> now you really wake up and check the baby. Hello? Lou, how's little Lou doing? No response. <laughs> well, look at that. That child's taking a shine to me. No. You two were out cold, so I had you brought here. You were right. Whatever you did back there returned us to our own world. I put your cargo and gear in your private box. You slept for a whole day, you know. Slept like the dead. I mean, I fought a lot. A lot I'm of blood transfusions. Fragile speech has been coming in handy. Sam, I owe you an apology. Lou was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd had made it. <gasps> I should have pieced it together sooner. What? Don't know what you're talking about. I found some records from ten years ago. A death, sudden, in the middle of a town. Young woman in the prime of her life. Nobody knew until it was too late. A boy out. Her His husband, wife? who was a member of Bridges, had dooms. He tried, but he couldn't get to her in time. The whole town was wiped off the map, leaving nothing but a big crater and him. Because he was a repatriate. Mm. People wanted answers. Did the man hide his wife's body on purpose? The only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges too. What the fuck? The but man I still work for them. So he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. Lou. Ah. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. They were going to name their son Lou didn't happen but it did president strand told me she talked about you all the time he didn't have to cut all ties and walk away she said so that's what happened up? calm down sam take a seat maybe take a shower first I do not I like the idea before, of the shower and the toilet body, being in one area. Seventy percent harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. Hmm? The truth is, I'm that's why he has the monster. scar. Artificial, grown from pluripotent stem cells. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. How the hell does that work? I never had a birthday. I'm a soulless meat puppet. No car. A dead man. People born the traditional way have beaches. You have one. BB too. But I have no such connections. No mother, no afterlife, no beach. What's that beach? You see now why I'm so obsessed with it all? Why I joined Bridges? The battlefield. How the hell does that, that work, though? Awful beach. But strangely, I didn't hear. No, I just hear like beach <laughs> instead of actual beach. I've never felt that before. I heard. I hear bitch. <laughs> Connected to someone. Anyone. That was a true beach. 
<laughs> you didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. It wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on. Even I was welcome. I'm really oh, curious God. about you were holding it. It's an old dog tag. How hit that works. Issue. Wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. Clifford Unger. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was US Army Special Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. That's him. Well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. You must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Mm-hmm. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded. Oh, shit. Nice. Time for a shower, bro. I wonder if they just meant that he was cultivated, but then the parts that they actually needed humans for, they they did like a, a donor thing. Like a donor from dead patients. People that just died and then put those uh, organs in him. Because that would make sense, I guess. Not really, but you know what I mean. As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, um, to, to explain a little, our bodies, our ha, all occupy the same world. But our souls, our ka, have beaches all their own. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs, religion, philosophy, and so <laughs> forth. As a result, a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. It's like, dude, I'm done showering. Can you if stop talking? People die at once. Their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, Exits vanish, and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, picture it like a, a, a record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. I'm sorry, but you can't expect me to focus on what he's explaining while there's a naked man right in front of me. I, I'm just not hearing anything he's saying. I just keep looking at him. Okay, now tell me again, now that he's dressed, and I might be able to process the information. Still there, Batman! Sam. If so, no, I hard have one. a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. Time to connect Hardman? Um, he pointed there, maybe he wants me to do something? Probably not. I did it. <laughs> Here <it> comes. <laughs> um, how about this one? Hmm. That wasn't anything special. Oh, I already did this one. No. Okay, wait. Let me try bottom right. Hmm. Checking the beard. Okay, I'm done. Let's maybe read some emails. I haven't read any in a while.
Aaron. Why Lachnia opposed to UCA? Lachnia and Mama were joined by that special bond that twins have. That's how come Mama wanted to carry Lachnia's child, blah, blah, blah. Instead, it served to sever the ties between them for good and bound Mama to something else entirely. At least that's what Lachnia probably thought. Maybe even that her sister wanted to kid all for herself. She never knew about the accident, the real reason. Can't imagine how she must have felt. I mean, we know all this. Yeah. Roboticist. They'd be raving about how it lets you power through snow drifts and over rocky terrain and how about about how the boost mode lets you charge up slopes and across rivers without draining any endurance. The all-terrain skeleton. I have been using it, yeah. I have a friend nearby I'd like you to deliver something to the mountaineer. Okay. The paintings of the whales and dolphins I discovered in those caves might have been painted by Neanderthals. I don't really understand the significance of it all, but it's definitely what my father was looking for. Oh, the, she had the... she was the camera mission. I don't think I've ever been so happy my entire life. Doctor... Let's see, I'm trying to see if the baby made it. Not much point in being a medical professional if you've no one to tend to. We need to forge and maintain connections of all kinds. Limited visibility is not the only issue with whiteouts, you know. You lose spatial awareness and can't gauge distances. Use your map to plot a route to your destination. It'll show up when you use Autodex cargo scanner. We had a boy! We've just welcomed our, a new life into a world. The baby boy! He's okay! Both him and the missus are doing fine. Yes! In fact, they're sleeping peacefully next to me as I write this message. Aw, yay! Tried using the power gloves? I am using them, yeah. Good. It's good to know they're okay. That man's winter coat and boots should be somewhere nearby. Could you go pick them up and bring them to Mountain Knot City? Standard issue bridges kit. Custom made size. You can take the order at the delivery terminal at Mountain Knot City. Okay. That was that. Let's look at interviews. There's also some... Uh, Sean said there's a button to hide all of these, I think. Oh no, that was the button for the on the map. And I was like, yeah, I'm using that all the time. Yeah, this is fine. God, so many tips. Okay. Uh, void out in Manhattan. Recorder unknown. What? Who the hell were the doctor's final words? At the time, no one knew to whom he was referring to, and to be fair, there are more pressing issues at hand. The doctor in question was a surgeon specializing in cesarean sections. Procedure he was undertaking at the time was slightly unusual in that he was operating on a mother who had been declared brain dead seven months into a pregnancy. She had been placed on life support, but since her blood pressure was decreasing and the fetus was showing signs of bradycardia, the decision was made to operate. Because the procedure was broadcast to medical researchers on a closed-circuit network, we are fortunate to have a record of what took place. Per the footage, the incision was made without incident. The plan was apparently to remove the fetus from the womb and immediately place it in the N NICU, where it would receive the necessary care. Prior to this, the surgeon would, of course, have to cut the umbilical cord. This is the moment that changed everything, the moment the surgeon's hand touched the cord. In that instant, he uttered the infamous last words, who the hell? Following a number of tests and experiments, the conclusion was reached that the incident was an annihilation event brought about by the doctor's contact with whatever or whomever he had seen upon touching the umbilical cord. Though it eventually became apparent that the doctor had been referring to BTs, at the time no one could explain the underlying cause of the incident. Some later theorized that if the same conditions brain that mother, fetus, umbilical cord could be recreated, BTs could be detected and the mystery of the death surrounding could be solved. Oh, they called the fetuses they used bridge babies and the experiment became known as the BB experiments. So the, oh... So the first, the very first incident was a cesarean on a brain dead mother, and that connection made them see BTs, and then they. So then they started experimenting with more still mothers. Ugh. Um, number three, 
BB experiments were conducted at a Manhattan-based government facility in such extreme sec secrecy that little is known about them to this day. One thing that we do know for certain, however, is that the experiments ended in tragic failure and were directly responsible for the total annihilation of the island of Manhattan, as well as the death of the president who had been observing operations firsthand. He was succeeded by, the, by then Vice President Bridget Strand, who shortly after her inaugur inauguration put an end to all further BB experiments and had all data destroyed. I don't know why, though. I mean, I know it's dangerous, but you wouldn't have to destroy the data. You can keep that, but just stop the experiments. With her strong and steadfast leadership in the wake of the void out, she made great strides in quelling the chaos and unrest that had spread throughout the nation. In response, separatists who opposed reconstruction emerged and steadily grew more aggressive in their activities. Spiritualists observe the measure of photographer has not much to add. The cave paintings, Hartman. Cave paintings provide an invaluable window into the lives of our ancestors, how they lived, what they experienced. Some have been preserved here on our continent, although most have sadly been lost in void outs. The oldest cave paintings of all are believed to date back 64,800 years or more, but all of these are, or perhaps were, in Europe. What's become of them, I wonder? Have they too been obliterated in annihilation events? If not, are the caves containing them now infested with BTs? Does Europe still exist, even? One cannot help but worry that these vital records have been forever lost to us, but I digress. Digress. They, these first paintings were likely made by the Neanderthals. They were crude depictions of creatures such as deer, bison, horses, interspersed with stenciled outlines of large hands. Some assert these are the signatures of primeval painters, but could they not also have be, also be depictions of BT handprints? Could our ancient relatives have been trying to tell us something or issue a warning? Or is that perhaps one flight of fancy too far? Interesting idea, though. Okay. Now, how is the beeps doing? Hi. Oh. <laughs> Boo. I think I'm ready. I think that was it here. Although I might need to drink. Okay. Leave. Leave. Snap your neck. Ugh. So now it's time to go meet Hartman. Can I help you? Holy shit. John. Is that you? Who's that? What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. They don't want to repeat it last year. Who's that? Die Hardman? I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were that. That looked like Die Hardman. Oh my god, I have no equipment on me. I need new shoes! <laughs> it's like, I love Kung Fu! Beyond it is Edgenot City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. We need you to bring her home safely. But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help you get it done. Hmm. He lives by the heart. 
Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I, for one, would like very much to know the reason why. Hmm. Closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping Wait. us to overcome. Wait, did you just say I have to carry a body to you? Say, Fuck. I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the Fuck. Mama's body again. God, that was complicated. <laughs> yeah, is she okay with that? I just realized. All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Millingen special. Weird. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. Right. Her body doesn't go necro, so she's like a normal corpse. <laughs> He's just like, oh, throws her on his back. And still love her coat. Order assigned. Okay, do I have the things on me now that I wanted to have on me? Because, yeah. Okay, good. Somehow managed to do that. Um, sorry. Now I need to check where I need to go to. Hartman. He's down there. There's a zip line there, but it's between the doctor and this one. There's another one here. This is the one I placed. And it did connect to another one. I think it connected... No, that can't be. It's 400 meters. This one connected to two at the time, I think. I'll just head over there and see. Such a weird thought that I was carrying her all this way alive. Or at least I was able to talk to her. And now I'm carrying her somewhere else, but she's completely dead. The fuck? Yeah, that one. Where the fuck is that one? Oh, that's perfect. Oh my god, I didn't know I did that. Accidentally made a fucking awesome zip line. Holy shit! I'm so happy. This saves so much time. My god. What a good fucking zipline. 
I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now where am I? <laughs> okay, I still need to go a little bit to the left. Not too far, though. I'm down from the roof. Dude, I cannot wait to connect you to the chiral network. See if anyone put down a... Oh god. Stop running. See if anyone put down a, a zip line here. This is nice. Oh, that was fairly quick. Saw some 8% damage. How did I do that? Request to join UCA registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. Hmm. That was quick. Little heart. Oh, just the heart section? That's all I connected? God damn it. A thermal pad. I see a zip line. Please proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Good work. Are we gonna meet him in person? This looks so comfy, oh my god. Until resuscitation. One minute remaining. The fuck? Is that a BT? Weird. Why is the floor so cushioned everywhere? Why is this music playing, of all things? Look at the cushioning around his foot. Feet. Aww. <clears throat> nice picture. Is he on a trip? Administering shock. Stand clear. <sighs> he looks familiar. I like him so far. His like interviews and talks have been very interesting. Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. <laughs> Glad you could make it, Sam. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please lay her down there. Still no sign of them. You know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. 
I spend three minutes on the beach and then return. Why? 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. That so, does seem like a good way to live. I've to and from the sea an impressive number of times. My beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> is he based on another one of I see Kojima's friends? My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Also, you could say goodbye. Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? Must be so straining on I your find heart the though. Terrifying. Spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? <laughs> if death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. Yeah, I would. Muscle gradually deformed. Huh, that's what I thought. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. Yeah, he's still doing it. I'm glad we could have this conversation. So he knows he's killing himself, but... Um, a body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. Very pretty, too. She is so pretty. I really like her face. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? <laughs> ah, Nothing, just touching her boobies. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human Wait, where did you get that? I think. But... This was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yeah. Wait a sec. Hmm. A if being connected to a BT... An umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. Wow, that's so quick. If our conversation gets cut short. What if I must go back to the beach? Every person my wife and in the UCA could get a BT one attached to a BT and cut loose with what beach. Mama designed, and that's that would be enough to. But I'm Make sure no one gets necrosis anymore. My beach is connected to others. As if it were the beneficiary of a coronary It bypass. would fix all void outs. Maybe it, uh, this twisted heart of mine made it possible. Risk. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises... It would kind of be like a type of vaccination kids get nowadays. Just be like, I'll it's time for your BT, BT shot. <laughs> one. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. 
a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach. But how haven't we seen more of that purgatory then? Purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. It's just a theory. A game theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. He would be awesome to cosplay. Please hold on to something secure. Just a cool suit, oh, cool thing on your chest. I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the seam. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. Weird. So weird. So I can just check out stuff in his room? I don't see any pop-ups though. Zoom in and out. Gosh, she is so pretty. So we can just check out all the stuff in his room? Some rocks he collected. But that's it, right? Oh. Chiral crystal. What's that? BT apparition. BT illustration. Crypto biotes. Antique record player. Hmm. Hartman's daughter. Family portraits. Uh, it's making me uncomfortable. PT model. Whale skeleton. Do you think I'm finding everything? Exciting too. Or a Dovisian period ore recovered from tar build. Void out crater. This is so weird. What am I doing?
No luck. Visit 218,550. What point are you gonna give up, though? Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21-minute cycle, but for a first-time face-to-face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go-around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, pollution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. Of course, he has a, of music, a Blu ray collection. It's a Blu ray and a 4K collection. Some very interesting short films and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. Evil Rain? Oh, from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> Why do you have two copies of Evil but Rain? Honestly. The 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. God, I would get tired of that. Present. 21 minutes each, My so it would take you like beach. eight tries to watch I'm a movie. Dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> <laughs> As it happens, I read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. Didn't we already look at this? Oh, hi, kitty. I was in the ICU having heart surgery out of town in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> Oh god, so many people. The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? Cool. Cool. A little heart on his chest. I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey! It's me! Wait, then why are you still searching for them if they obviously moved on? Where are you going? Wait! Denial? Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please! Don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. 
I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. How poetic. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Armely proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hmm. hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes <laughs> to cardiac arrest. Oh, shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, mm. as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. <laughs> That's why his floor is soft. I see. <laughs> Don't worry about him, Sam. The air mat absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. It <laughs> sounds like fucking weirdo. <laughs> yes, Sam, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, so weird. Okay. Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Why is all my stuff here? Okay. Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. And that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so... 
I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Okay. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Okay. So this is our new... No, it's not, because we can't... We can't rest here. I was gonna say this is our new, like, HQ for now, but... Anti-matter bomb again? They're pretty heavy. But I can only accept both missions from here, right? So I might as well try and do both at the same time. geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. Administering shock. Stand clear. The strata the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period. The time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. One more thing, Sam. Mm -hmm. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. I know. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now hopefully I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high yield explosives, but in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Okay. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow capped mountains. What does it do? A test to shoulder or hip activates automatically in snowy conditions to keep the wearer warm. Oh, it, so. No stamina drain. Huh. I feel like I've been fine so far, but I'll just try out one. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb, especially when transporting <clears throat> it by a carrier or vehicle. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. I know. My God. So annoying. Okay, so I have to go here first, geologist. There are zip lines here. I guess that might be useful. It might just take me to a straight path to there. Sam. So yes. Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. Mm -hmm. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's ability seemed to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. 
My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, but I neglected to give you a proper farewell. <laughs> Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BT is a site to hear more people. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on my wife's accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, mm. considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCorn. <laughs> That's my destination. I have to get across this mountain. Doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. Don't explode. <laughs> I always see myself like stumbling on the okay. oh, stumbling on like the the last like step coming into the building and then just the bomb going like everyone dead <laughs> that wasn't too hard delivering cargo Sam bridges oh thank God for that. I was worried you might not get here in time, but then I've done nothing but worry of late. I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff. That's not I fun. Put the nightmares down to fatigue. A uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Damn. Dying's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. It's not just my life you're saving here. It's my life's work. I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Service and damage. Nice. Elite transporter. Nice. Do the honors. Sure. Connect these babies up. There we go. Nice. Good, good, good. Ooh, climbing anchor level two. Um, I see another zip line. That's good. I like those now. They're my favorite now. <laughs> Just like that, I'm part of the UCA. Yep. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials. Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years? That is crazy. Evidence of an ancient death strand. Confirms Hartman's theories. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. <laughs> That's awesome. This of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The Chiral Network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. 
That would seem to indicate the Big Five and Classic. all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Cool. Good work. New order available. What's new about this? More compact, more anchors to be packed into a single container. Boasts improved durability and timefall resistance. Nice. Let's see, where am I trying to get to? Yeah, there. <laughs> Why is that ladder there? <laughs> okay, it should be easier now, now that I just have the... Roboticist. Just have the bomb on my back. This is by the paleontologist. Oh shit. <gasps> oh. I died. I took a I took a jump too big. Well shit. Made it. Don't explode. 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 Ah! I made it. Ugh. Okay. Take this bomb away from me, please. Delivering cargo. Much appreciated, friend. Yay. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. Mm -hmm. I swear, this place is I bad did a thing. without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all. Though I can't for the life of me imagine how. Lots of stumbling. Twi died twice, actually. There we go. You can set up the chiral network while I work. Sure. Let's do it. Ooh, big zone. Yay. Nice. Oxygen mask? Huh. Ah. Well, I don't see any zip lines. I'm disappointed anyway, in you. Out, Sam, I'm disappointed in you guys. A favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it on route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which what? looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. Oh. An umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. 
my god. I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. I have to Which carry a rock up a, a mountain. Of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. Hmm. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you, you could track it down. Yeah, to I could. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen. Ah, that's what it's for. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. Cool. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of bibiparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Good work. New order available. Look at that baby. That's why my face is on fire. He's so warm. Hmm? Yeah. I think that does it for today. I think I made enough pra uh, progress. Let me save. Just in case. But yeah, I think I think this was good. We did a lot today. Um, I'll have this up somewhere next week. Um, but for now, this is it. I hope you guys liked it. Sh slowly but surely, I will continue this series. Thank you so much for the patience. I'm glad the people are that are watching are still enjoying it. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys in another Death Stranding next week. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye.